All right, uh, in some of my deleted videos, uh, I showed uh, how to make one of these styles, and uh, I'm noticing that it got out of phase. Well, anyway, it's a uh, it's uh, ten to one the dial, and uh, I'm going to take it apart. First off, the knob. We're going backwards now. The knob that turns the center, and uh, this one might be five to one. But when you see it, you'll see it. You go, I've seen those. Okay, well, anyway, here's the pointer that I made. The pointer has to sit up higher on spacers. Made out of a piece of plexiglass. It's got a scratch in it. And if you want, you can put uh, paint in the scratch. Okay, I don't know if you can see the scratch. It, it shows up very good in, in, in life here, but sometimes on camera stuff don't show. Now, this dial I made, I spun it on, the, on a, uh, a drill press. After I cut it close with a nibbling tool, I spun it on the, a drill press and brought it in. Now, there's two 256 screws, different screwdriver. I'm pretty, I'm pretty much ready for this. I have most of the tools around. Okay, these are two little 256 uh, bolts that you have to custom make. You gotta, well, you gotta cut them down. They're about an eighth inch long, okay? I, I do that stuff without thinking about it. Uh, I grind them down on, on the belt sander. Okay, second one. Okay, there's the dial. And there's the two where they get mounted. Now, I'm gonna have to tip this up. I got my cutter tools ready. I gotta cut this thing out. And a lot of you are probably going, you're taking a radio apart. I, I take radios apart and rebuild. And then, uh, okay, I got to cut a bunch of wires in here. Uh, that one fell off on its own. Bing, 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 bing. Ground wires. Okay. All right, now, I'll show you what lengths I go to to make something. Okay, now I cut those wires. Now we're going to do these two bolts. There's two bolts that hold it to the front. Where do you see the bracket that's in there that you're going to have to build, have to make? And these are, these look to be 632s. Oh, and you have to use square nuts on the back in order for it to fit. See, when they made this reducer, uh, they didn't really think it through a lot. And it's, it was American made, so I don't know what has happened to it over the years, but I'll show it to you. Okay. All right, out comes, hopefully. All right, let's, let's cut one more wire. Okay, now, notice the hole. Okay, not exactly a small hole, is it? That's what you're going to have to do. Now, we put the radio carcass aside. It will be stripped down even further. Okay, now this is the creme de la creme tuning capacitor. Three section. They're all the same. All 365, but you use a pad or cap in series. If you if you pick this one as the oscillator, you put uh, a capacitor in series to reduce the overall capacitance. But here's the reducer. See it sitting there? Okay, well, I'm going to take this apart further right now. Now, did I uh, use a, uh, yeah, sometimes I have a habit of, uh, these were for the, for the other holes to hold on the front. And now, these holes, I think I can get from the side. Uh, you have to, notice they're, they're hooked, this bracket you have to make is hooked to the uh, uh, capacitor. Let me, let me close it down so I don't damage it. And I might be able to get in from the side here. A lot of the stuff that I build, after a couple of years, when I, uh, when I go to take it apart, I look at it, I'm like, boy, I did a lot of work on that. And this bracket you can't buy. you got to make it. That's why a lot of people, well, how did you do this? How did you do that? I don't know. I don't know. It's been a, a lifetime of building stuff and repairing stuff. And you sit there and you think about it for a while, and then you build it. Now, I don't know if I can go through, in through here. I do a lot of little tricks sometimes. I think I thought about it. Yeah. 
In other words, see how it, it goes on the end of the frame? The hole for the front now also lets me go in there. And, uh, let me do it with a, 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 a pliers in the back. Okay, now it's loose. Now we go in here. All right, that's off. Okay, it's coming there. It's coming. So it's Christmas. Okay, now we got to loosen the two screws, two bolts, whatever you want to call them, that hold the, the unit to the uh, shaft of the, uh, the capacitor. Okay, now we're almost there. A couple more turns. Now what throws you off is uh, some of the uh, tuning capacitors are going to be different than this one. All right, notice they have mounting holes on the front. And sometimes they're tapped, and sometimes they can't be tapped for 632. It depends on the manufacturer. But notice how uh, small that shaft was. And I was, I bought this on eBay for 30 something dollars, and that's why I got it cheap because the shaft is too short. But I, I was praying I'd be able to use it. Okay, here's this Jackson, whatever you want to call it. This is what it looks like, and it's not planetary gears. Uh, it uses ball bearings, and uh, they do make uh, tuning capacitors with this part built into it. Uh, where do I got one? I got one over here. I should have bought more of these. This tuning cap right here in the center, this is a kitchen regenerative, one of my many regeneratives. Now, as I turn this knob, this knob goes faster than the pointer, okay? And the pointer sits on the, the back section. There's two, there's two, it's telescopic. The outside shaft goes through another shaft, which you can put your pointer. Now, on some radios in the old days, that was the fast knob. Okay, this is one of my many kitchens. Uh, kitchen makes a great a regenerative radio. Uh, I have another one back there with a different kind of dial. But this is that uh, reducer. This is what you're going to see and you're going to buy. And then you're going to have to make this. Okay, but see, you buy this thinking you just put it on the front of this. But then what? Ah, oh, well then what? Okay, that's how it works. And I guarantee you, I did the video and a lot of people bought this and then they did nothing with it. And I want to tell you, nothing is easy. Okay, nothing. But I, I built this in my head, this dopey bracket. Okay, and of course the distance. That's all important. And then I bent this. And this was bent we're using, uh, oh, they're like duck bill, big, large duck bills for um, welding. Let me show you them. You're not supposed to walk away from the camera and leave the, the viewer. But these, these things here, this is what I was using to bend aluminum uh, before I bought the Harbor Freight brake. Uh, with the Harbor Freight brake, you'd need a rod. In between here you bend up and you put the rod in and bend again but uh, this is what I used okay and they open up back here and these are I think believe they're called they're called seamer tools let's say hand, hand seamer and this you grab when you're when you when you're doing welding but in, of course I use when I see a tool I think and what I could use it for other than uh, you know welding let's see if it goes down in there when you, when you build stuff, that's what you got to think about when you design. What tool do I have? How can I do it? And then I just do it. And I worked with guys that would sit and look at things for days. And they wouldn't even try starting it, starting to work on it. And uh, then the boss would give it to me. I'd get it done, and then they hate me. Okay? That's all my life was like that. Uh, hating me because I fixed the thing, and then I wanted people to pay. Uh... You know, it, I was supposed to be fixing for everything for everybody for free. I think that's it. All right, that's it.